Who doesn't love an animal buddy story? I mean, really, I want to know. After all, Hollywood loves to make movies where an unlikely human has a connection with an unlikely animal and an eternal friendship forms as the result. The irony is, there are plenty of real life stories of people connecting with animals in ways that defy logic and reason. And I'm not talking about things like humans and dogs or cats, I'm talking about them meeting wild animals that you usually would not have as a pet, and yet they're basically like family to them. So with that in mind, join us as we have a look at 20 strongest animal friendships between humans and wild animals. Number 20. Elephant Reunion now, who here remembers the old phrase, elephants never forget? While that's very debatable from a scientific perspective, there have been many cases of elephants having a long memory that defies belief, as is proven in this very first story. This is Derek Thompson. He's that guy shouting at the elephants who are in the distance, and he's the co-founder of the Save the Elephant Foundation, a very worthy cause. He would be the caretaker for these elephants for some time, but then he had to go away for over a year, and however, he soon returned to the herd, and as you can see, they did very much recognize him. Not only did they come basically running to him, they get right up to him and let him pet one of them while the others work their way around and embrace them in their own ways. Now, there's so much to acknowledge, here that it's baffling. First, if this was a single elephant that recognized the man, well, that would be one thing. But it's a full-on pack of elephants who not only remembered him from before he left, but were willing to get up close and personal with him after only one single call from his voice. That's not just memory retention, that's some full-on emotional attachment. Like if you at home had not seen a family member for many years, but finally got to see them and it was a very emotional moment for you because you had wondered if you'd ever see them again. But remember, these are big and powerful creatures. They could have easily killed Derek with their mass, but instead they treated him like he was just one of their own. It just goes to further prove why foundations like this are needed. I mean, after all, elephants are one of the most abused animals by humans because they're hunted for their ivory and to be trophies on people's walls. We need more people like him out in the world to showcase why elephants are creatures that need to be protected. Oh, and you should make sure to subscribe and like the video, or else you might never have an elephant interaction like this one. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Now look at this image. It's apparently a recreation of a very touching story from Russia of a young woman who's meeting a wild horse and then an eternal bond forms between them. Allegedly, that woman found a horse in the wild tundras of Russia and noticed that it was hurt. While it was wary when she approached, she was able to get it fixed up with what she had on her. And with that initial trust build, she was able to bring the horse back to her house where she then got it to a vet to look further at it. After getting it all fixed up, the woman meant to set the horse free, but it simply decided to stay. And while it may sound like a plot from one of those animal buddy films that I talked about in the intro, it's not all that far-fetched of a tale. I mean, after all, there are numerous stories of horses and humans connecting that go beyond a simple master and animal bond, or even a friendship in some cases. And don't forget, all throughout history, humans have counted on horses to carry them into battle, to tend to their farms, and there are even horses used as a kind of therapy. So the idea for a horse wanting to to stay with the woman who patched it up and made it feel better, it's not really that hard of a story to swallow. Sure, we don't know for sure what really happened, and if this picture is again even real, it was said to be a recreation, but wouldn't it be nice if it was? As always, you can comment down below and leave your thoughts in relation to what you just saw on the screen using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Do you remember me? 
If you're looking for a more solid story of caring between a wild animal and a human, then boy do I have one for you. And it features a woman and a chimpanzee. No, she's not Jane, the wife of Tarzan, though that would be funny, but this woman was able to make a connection that went well beyond any basic thing. The woman in question was Linda Kobner, and she saved a set of chimpanzees from a laboratory over 25 years previous by the time of her meeting them. The chimps in question were being used in hep hepatitis testing and had to be rescued from them by Kobner's organization known as Chimp Haven. But the work didn't end there. The chimps had spent their entire lives in that laboratory, so she and her allies went about the business of spending years working with them in southern Florida so that they could learn how to live in the wild. Fast forward about 20 years, and she went back to the chimps and asked them if they remembered her. Oh, and the answer was an emphatic yes. When Linda reaches out her hand, the chimp known as Swing happily takes it and then another chimp named Dahl recognizes her and comes over to join in on the reunion. The three share a big hug that will melt your heart, and if it doesn't, then you probably have no soul and you should go see a doctor. But seriously though, think about it this way, the elephant's caretaker was only gone for over a year and Linda had been gone decades. The chimpanzees that had been living and relatively on their own at that period still recognized her upon sight. That's a bond, ladies and gentlemen, and you could hear the emotion in Linda's voice when she hugged those chimps that had recognized her. That's emotional poetry, pure and simple. Number 18. Groundhog Day I've talked about elephants, chimpanzees, horses, all the animals that you could relatively understand a human having a connection with on a deep level, depending on where they live, but now how about one that you would not expect to have a nice connection with a human being? That being a groundhog. And no, I'm not talking about the one that hung out with Bill Murray, or the one who saw its shadow. I'm talking about the wild ones that you find all throughout the world. At the local groundhog restaurant, you'll meet Christina, who has a a very unique job in terms of feeding the locals, as in the animal locals. And yes, that also includes groundhogs, amongst many others. Since her restaurant is just her backyard, it doesn't really make sense, but one groundhog that she's named Cutie just keeps coming back up to her yard again and again to see her and to get food in the process, so she did that over and over and a bond was forged. And if you're curious, Cutie just loves bananas, which shows the groundhog is one of culture. But what really shows this relationship that Christina and Cutie have is that the groundhog was so attached to her and their daily system that Cutie was not afraid to bring his family in to meet her. That also includes her various female partners and his son, who Christina named Dustin. Dustin is just as fine with Christina as his father because of how Cutie kept willingly going to her. Animals in the wild are usually very protective of their family, so the fact that Cutie was willing to expose them to a human being is quite the big deal. Is it really an unusual friendship? Well, sure, but is it one that's fun to talk about and wonder if we could all have our own cutie in our lives? You bet it is. Number 17. Sealing a Huge Hug this next one is a bit more spontaneous, which arguably makes it all the more adorable, because while many of these stories are about humans connecting with animals that they met, this time we have a connection between some animals and a human that they just so happen to stumble upon. This story follows Chris Bray and his wife Jess, two photographers who went to the South American island of South Georgia. <laughs> to get some pictures of some king penguins. And if you're unfamiliar with that island, that's kind of the point. It is rather remote, and that makes it perfect for the penguins to live on in peace. But it wasn't only the penguins that these two would have a close encounter with. Instead, as Jess would be laying down to get some shots of the penguins, she was then greeted by a group of elephant seals, specifically some seal pups, which definitely are bigger and heavier than any other pup in the world. At first, one of them came up to Jess and began pressing his body against hers, which many viewers felt looked like a hug. 
Jess couldn't help but laugh at all of this because it wasn't something she was expecting in the slightest. And she definitely was not expecting a couple more baby elephant seals to surround her and sniff her out, amongst other things. You can even see her trying to get up, but that's not going so well for her. This is hilarious in all of the right ways because those seals could have very well hurt her and instead they treated her almost like a play toy that they were really curious about. And now she has a story to top things that you could only see on Animal Planet. Number 16. Shark Selfies If you were to make a list of the animals that you would not expect to be friendly with humans, sharks would be either at the top or close to it. After all, shark attacks are one of the things that people fear the most in this world, and there are plenty of films and television shows that feature sharks attacking humans. But apparently those shows and movies have never heard the story of Rick Anderson. Who is Rick Anderson, you may be asking? Well, he's a scuba diver out in Australia who tends to dive in the same areas all the time and even has a diving school. So it's probably not that Rick Anderson that you knew in school. At one point during a dive, he saw a small Port Jackson shark and decided to approach it. He didn't want to spook it, he just wanted to pet it. Nothing bad happened and life went on. Until that next season of diving, when at that same Port Jackson, that shark saw him and it was actually looking for him to pet it. This continued on for many years until that shark became fully grown and it still happily goes to Rick and asks to be pet. Oh, and whenever possible, he also takes a selfie with that shark. You just simply can't make this stuff up. Well, you can, but nobody would probably believe you. That is, unless you have proof. Oh, that Rick Anderson. He was quite the character in chemistry class. It's beyond wild that Rick was able to bond with this shark the way that he did. Granted, not all sharks are like tiger sharks or great whites in that they can be incredibly aggressive to humans. Numerous shark species have the potential to be kind to humans if the favor is returned, and this is one shining example of that. Now, that's not to say that you should all go and try to take a selfie with a shark, because that might not end up so well for you. Number 15. Diving with Seals And if you like that story about the diver and the shark, how about one that features a diver who's been swimming with seals on the regular for over two decades? This particular tale follows Ben Burville, who is a doctor alongside being a diver, But the highlight of his career is easily every time that he goes down to the waters of the ocean. That's because these seals come out and find him to play with them. To be clear, he does not seek them out. Ben only plays with the seals when they approach him. He had no intentions of provoking a response or potentially hurting their habitat. And you might think that playing with the same creature for 20 years would get boring, but not with Ben and his seals. He noted that they were magical every time and incredibly smart creatures. I bet that many of you wish that you were Ben playing with those seals right now, don't you? Number 14. Buddy the Dog Iguana have you ever seen a movie where an animal pretended to be something else? Like in a certain Disney movie, where a bird pretends to be a dog. Well, that kind of thing happens actually more than you may think. And I have the proof via Buddy the Iguana, who thinks that it's a dog. I am not joking here, not even one little bit. Buddy the Rock Iguana has been trained to come when called, he enjoys being petted, and even wears a collar when he's taken out for walks in the local park. He also lives in a kennel. His owner is Dave Durham, who happened to be a lizard breeder, and one with decades of experience. But why did he feel the need to raise an iguana like a dog? Well, it is hard to say, but the results do speak for themselves. Now, I don't mean to diss iguanas, but they're not exactly the best pets when it comes to interaction. However, if you were to get one that would react like a dog would, well, then you may be well getting somewhere. I just wonder if you could train that thing to bring you the newspaper in the morning. Number 13. Gorilla Press Here's a story that has quite a few layers to it, and not in the way that you might expect. Tansy Aspinall was the daughter of an animal park owner, and because she was raised in the place that took care of animals, she was basically raised right alongside them. That also included two gorillas. The gorillas were so close with her, in fact, that there are pictures taken of them with her when she was just 18 months old. Now, hypothetically, she was never in danger, but many people felt that it still wasn't safe for gorillas to be so close to her like that. 
Eventually, the pair were released back into the wild in 2002, however, that's only the beginning of this story. When she was 25 years old, she went to go and find them, and even though there was no guarantee that they would recognize her or even be nice, but find them she did. Both she and her father would be surprised by how gentle and kind that they were to the two of them. They accepted food from them, were willing to be petted by them, and even more. In fact, when the two were ready to go, the gorillas clung to her because they didn't want her to leave. That's a true caring moment right there, and it's good that she got to make some new memories with her old friends. Number 12. Jessica the Hippo now, here's another animal that you might have had on your list of animals that people don't get along with. That's because hippos are notorious for being incredibly aggressive and wants to use their bulk to strike down those who may get too close. People have literally been bitten in half by hippos that they thought would never hurt them. And then, almost counterintuitively, we have Jessica the Hippo who is the sweetest hippo you're ever going to meet. She lives in South Africa with her owners, Tony and his wife Shirley. The two rescued Jessica when flooding would hit the area and she was left all alone. She was only a young hippo back then, and so the two raised her into adulthood, which was an easy way to get a bond going between the three. Fast forward to 20 years later, and the three are still incredibly close, even with Jessica weighing a modest 1,400 kilograms. But she'd never harmed the two owners, and is continuing continuously visited by tourists and film crews who are fascinated by the idea of being so close to such an enormous creature. They can even feed her and give her a local drink. This is definitely something that you're not going to see every day, and it makes it something that you should truly appreciate as well. Number 11. The Condor what does it take for a wild animal to form a connection with a human being? Well, not unlike humans connecting with one another, sometimes saving one's life can go a long way. In this case, a man named Agardo saved a young baby condor after it had fallen out of its nest. Now, if he wasn't there, the condor would likely have died as it was too young to take care of itself, but he was there, and so he nursed it back to health. Eventually, the condor was raised back into the wild and could fend for itself, which is a fair thing to do with animals like these. However, when the condor sees him, as you see in this clip, it has no reservations about opening up its wings and then bringing this human in for a hug. That's right, this is a giant bird who's hugging a human being. And here you thought that only happened to John Cena. To further prove the connection, Edgardo refuses to let his friend be taken in by a local zoo because he wants him to live a free life in the land in which he was raised. Such kindness. Number 10. Never Outfoxed. What would you do if you found a wild animal injured on the side of the road? Would you call in animal services? Would you just leave it be? Well, the Fox Project in Turnbridge Wells, England, once found a fox on the side of the road that was seriously injured. They named it Cropper and then nursed the fox back to life. It was then that it met Mike Trowler, who was a retired man deciding to take the fox home and care for it even further. Since then, the fox basically turned into a hound and it loved spending time with Mike and Mike's other pets. Mike not only loved Cropper, but he also enjoyed seeing how the fox acts. Sadly though, he died in 2007, but Mike then took in another fox to help fill the gap in his life. Maybe he just needs to get a girlfriend. Number 9. Mr. Gator now we'll take a trip back to the not-so-friendly animals to humans list. If you had alligators or crocodiles, you may well be surprised by the truth, meaning that there are plenty of people, both legally and illegally, who adore having a crocodile and an alligator as a pet, such as in Japan with the infamous Mr. Gator. His real name is Japanese in origin, so I'm not going to attempt to mangle it, but he loves his pet gator, known as Kaiman Kun. He's about 2.4 meters long, and yet the man has no issues petting him, feeding him, and treating him like any other normal pet. And if you believe Mr. Gator, then he's had his pet for around 40 years and he's never been bitten by him. That is quite the tale, and nobody's sure whether it's a crock or not. Number 8. Beautiful We're Not Lion. For whatever reason, there are plenty of heartwarming stories about lions forging bonds with humans. Despite them being the kings of the jungle and apex predators and all of that, lions have had no issues killing people in the past, and yet they can also form a beautiful bond. Such as with the lioness Kiara, who was raised by a man named Adolfo. 
She was a rescue and took care of her for years until eventually allowing her into a reserve. Fast forward seven years and the two were about to be reunited for the first time. The moment that she sees Adolfo, she basically pounces into his arms for one of the biggest cat hugs you're ever going to see. The two play with each other and it's clear that she never forgot the one who raised her. Just do me a favor though and don't think that all lions are going to do this with you. Number 7. Anita and the Wolves now that's not the name of a band, though it's actually not a band one. It's the name of a woman who went beyond the call to connect with some wolves. Anita spent two years interacting with a wolf pack and socializing with them at Polar Park located in Norway. Anyone who knows wolves will understand that they're mistreated and misrepresented in the world. But equally as important, they won't easily trust those who are not in their pack. But when Anita left for a few months and came back, that pack would be happy to see her. Her time with them even let her realize certain gestures and signals to show the pack that she understood them and she used them upon her return. If people could see wolves in this light versus the dangerous monsters vision that most have, well perhaps they wouldn't be endangered in certain ways. Number 6. Barely Forgotten Bears are another creature that are deceptive because of human culture. We put them on a certain adorable pedestal, or give them cocaine apparently, but the truth is that they can be one of the biggest threats to people. Fortunately for Sonia and Jonathan, they are the exception to the rule. Sonia would be abandoned in the wild and eventually rescued, where Jonathan then took care of her. He watched over her for some time until he unfortunately had to leave the center that she was staying at. However, he did decide to come visit her one day, and when he did, it was like the two had never been separated. She let him hug her, pet her, and they even played a game together. It's truly adorable. Now it's true that not all bears are going to act like this, but it's still hard not to feel enamored with this kind of playtime. Number 5. Whale Love have you ever felt that an animal was in love with you? As in, you were the bright spot of its day and showed it affection whenever possible. In South Korea, that appeared to have happened with a beluga whale known as Tina, who had quite the crush on one of the zookeepers. And if you don't believe me, well, as this video shows, when some of the other male zookeepers walk in to check on her, she does nothing but ignore them and simply waits for her crush to arrive. When her favorite zookeeper does get there, she wants no one next to him but her, even shooting some water at a female for the crime of being too close to her favorite. So yeah, animals can not only have crushes, but they can also be extremely protective of said crush. What a world we live in. Number 4. The Hyena Man Anyone who's ever watched The Lion King knows that hyenas can be jerks, and they are absolutely like that in real life. However, there are exceptions to every rule, as you've seen. In Ethiopia, there's a family tradition in one village where the members of the family are able to not only feed hyenas, but apparently be able to communicate with them in their own way. How does it happen? Well, there exists someone who's known as the Hyena Man. He learned the techniques from his father, and that father warded away the hyenas from his livestock by giving them meat. Those hyenas liked it, and so a friendship was formed with the family. Now people go to the hyena man's village so that they can see the hyenas get their food and have fun with the hyena man. If you're thinking about doing this yourself though, please don't. I need you not to die so I can keep my job. Number 3. Not Polar Opposites I've already shown you one bear story, so here's another. Polar bears are not exactly known to interact with humans due to their habitat location, but in the case of Mark Dumas and his wife Dawn, they have the distinct pleasure of having a polar bear at their Beyond Just Bear Center, and said bear treats them like family. How well trained is the polar bear known as a gi? Well, when Mark goes to play with a gi, they do full on play. I'm talking about hugs and swimming, the entire works. The two even managed to get the bear to do videos for TV shows and movies. And so the bear is also a showman. But the real reason that they can do this is that they've been with a gi her entire life. They are the ones in the world that a gi trusts the most. So that ensures their friendship will last forever. Or until they get eaten. Number 2. Alexander Volkov Spotted Pet 
Here's another unique story for you. In Russia, Alexander Volkov was a zookeeper who had a special connection with a leopard, and he raised said leopard since it was just one year old. But then, at around three, Alexander had to leave the zoo, and that left the leopard known as Caesar distraught. So saddened was the cat by his former zookeeper's departure that he actually refused to eat. So what was the solution to the problem? Well, Alexander decided to let the big cat move in with him. They're now family, and the leopard is happy and healthy once again. Sometimes you just simply can't let go of those who have taken care of you in your life. Number 1. A Slithering Friend Finally, we have the story of Tim Jones who found himself interacting with some rather unusual creatures in the lake just outside of his house, diamondback water snakes. Water snakes are typically ones that you don't mess with, as they sometimes can be very poisonous. However, Tim was a former zoo director and knew how to connect with the animals. So what did he do? Well, when certain female water snakes come up to him, He dangles the food out in front of them, and then they happily take it. Tim feels that they remember him, which is quite the feat, and he loves the company while he's out on the dock watching the water. Which of these animal relationships were you surprised by the most, and which ones touched you the most? Do you have another story that could easily be on this list? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.